Hey, it's John from Addicted to Blades. You want to take a look at a knife I won in a giveaway on Instagram from Kratos Knives or Kratos Knives. I'm not sure how you pronounce it. But I didn't really know anything about them until I won their giveaway. Came in this cool box. It's a nice foam insert to keep from rattling around and stuff. It's an American made knife from an American company. It's kind of heavy. Must not be aluminum. It has glass breaker. It's supposed to, it's kind of like a, it's supposed to resemble a Microtech a little bit, but not exactly. It's a little bit smaller than an Ultratech. When, like, when I won, I got an $80 code. It's got the fully serrated side and the plain edge side, which I really like, and a dagger. I got a medium sized hand and fits my hand really good. It's got great action. Never failed. I haven't really cut anything with it, but a little bit of paper. So let's see how sharp it is with some uh, phone book paper. Pretty sharp, it could be touched up a little bit. It's the plain edge side. Let's see if we can get any cuts out of this uh, serrated side. Oh, yeah. Alright, not too bad, and he's touched up a little bit, but tracers, tracers are hard to cut like that with. Let's see what it does on the TP tube. Not too bad. Like I said, it needs Touched up a little bit. Let's see if we can get anything with these serrations on a toilet paper tube. I have cut toilet paper tubes with other serrated knives. Let's see what the plain edge will do. Alright, plain edge is pretty sharp. But that serration was still ripped through you pretty good. So, let's try it on some other stuff. Okay, I got this seat belt like strap material. It's pretty, pretty thick, pretty strong stuff. Let's try it with the plain edge. I might do that like butter. So, Let's try it with the serrated edge. Like that's supposed to be good for cutting seat belts. Yeah, ripped right through that. Pretty good. Try a little bit of nylon rope here, try a plain edge. Cut right through that. All right, let's try the serrated edge on it. Cut through that. A little bit harder than the plane has to go through there, but still did it. All right, let's take a few specs on it. With the glass breaker, it's about seven and three quarters inches, or a little bit over. And without the glass breaker, it's seven and about a half. Then the blade is about three and an eighth. Cutting edge is just a little under three inches. The handle without the glass breaker is about four and uh, a little over three eighths. A 
Like I said, it's kind of heavy. These, they must not have an aluminum housing, but it's not or super heavy, but it's not like a Microtech or anything. Let's see if I can get a weight on this. Hundred and forty six grams, five point one seven ounces. I guess that's a little bit heavy, but I don't think it's that heavy that you couldn't carry it comfortably. At least it's not for me. Let's take some measurements on the blade stock and handle thickness and stuff. Okay, the blade is about. 0 0.08 inches. The width of it is about 0.63 inches. Handle width is about 0.89 inches and the thickness of the handle is about 0.46 inches. I like it. Pretty nice knife. For 80 bucks American made out the front switchblade and I think some of their auto, other models maybe a little bit more expensive ones have a uh, aluminum housing thanks for watching